everybody has their baggage and everybody has their demon. So you might as well deal with your own demon and everything will work out fine. <laughs> if you're not in control of your emotions, your emotions will be in control of you. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Emotions with Omenasa. This is a show where I encourage you and I enlighten you to take control of your emotions because if you do not control your emotions, your emotions will control you. Thank you once again for tuning in. Today, our topic is self-esteem and body image self-esteem and body image what made me actually choose this um, topic is because I get a whole lot of people men women who call me all the time and they send me emails and whatsapp messages to counsel them and here I am thinking okay I'll be counseling them on maybe like depression or suicide or you know all these common topics that most people go through but it has shocked me of recent that people are really really worried about their self-image about how they look how they and how that actually affects them in in um, getting a job you will be shocked that some people cannot get a job simply because of how they look and that's really not the context in which i'll be talking about today the context in which i want to talk about today is how it affects them because once again, this um, show is on emotions and how it affects your emotions. And what actually propelled me to, to talk about this today is, huh, I received this WhatsApp message and this person was just so upset, worried about if she was going to get married or not. Um, she was just so depressed. There was a day that she couldn't even go to work. Um, she was just so tired she was bogged down and i asked her what the root of the problem was what is the issue with you and she and it amazed me she didn't talk about money she didn't talk about maybe her parents she didn't talk about all these f factors that would weigh a person down what she said was about her size and she used the word size she didn't say my body image she didn't say how i look she didn't use some kind of psychedelic word to explain this situation in her head she said my size and that really stuck with me it really stuck with me because i remember when i was literally a twig I was a twig. Nowadays, people look at me. Ah, you have gained so much weight. What is going on with you? Are you sick? Are you pregnant? Do you have triplets? What is going on? You know, and it makes me laugh because there was a time that I was literally a size zero. I used to go to a store called Dots. This, like, the store, like, does not even exist anymore. Um, well, from what I know, but that was the only store that sold a size zero. I mean. I couldn't find anything to fit me. It was inconvenient for me. And there's sometimes that I hear women and men who are plus size, and it's amazing how a lot of plus size people think that skinny people don't go through the same insecurities because I have seen a lot of skinny people who would just wish that they had some more bones on their body. You know, they would wear like this Ankara or something and the Ankara will look like it's wearing them rather than them wearing the outfits, you know, because they're so skinny. But then again, we also have the commercial world um, of models, makeup, acting industry even radio industry where you don't see people you will be amazed that a lot of these workers oaps and and actors and models are still chosen based on their size i know this for a fact there was a time that i traveled to london and i was really really interested in in pursuing my modeling career in that route and i remember them saying how i had to be a certain size and oh no 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 mm -mm, no you can come back next year or you can try that company not this company because this company we have a certain weight and nowadays before you eat you you are even considered to be auditioned 
you would have to 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 write down there's a form you would have to write down your size just in case you lied about your waist you know you would not be lying about your bus line like like you're probably going to lie about either or so they make make sure that they know what that number is and i'm not saying that these people don't don't have a market and all of that but you see this affects the psyche of people and that's what i want us to talk about today because when i was so skinny i remember eating drinking bottles and gallons of ensure i was drinking all kinds of milkshakes and everything just to gain weight and now i'm doing everything i can to lose weight you know so the whole point is not about how big or how small it's not a size issue self-image is about what you feel on the inside it's about what you think about yourself and now I have come to a place in my life where I know that I am absolutely beautiful. Whether my teeth are crooked or I have big eyes or I have big uh, uh, cheeks or whatever it is. When I gain weight, God has not blessed me in a way that I gain weight in the right places. I gain the weight in my face, all around my face and my neck and, and, um, and chin are connected to each other. It's a very, very, uh, it is an annoying thing. I don't like it but i have grown to embrace myself and love myself just the way that i am and i started this really by i stopped wearing acrylic nails i do wear acrylic nails sometimes but it's not a do or die thing where if i don't wear it i can't go out there was a time that i couldn't walk out without makeup and most of you know if you follow me like on social media you will see that i barely wear makeup unless I am singing unless I am preaching or unless I'm doing this show but my everyday life I am working in a facility as a nursing assistant I do not have the energy and my patients are not looking at my face so it has helped me to be very very comfortable in my skin and that's what I want to encourage you today is to be so comfortable in your skin and you may want to do something drastic really that was what happened for me was I stopped wearing acrylic nails and I forced myself to go out without arching my eyebrows today i am telling you that today was was the first time in about a year that i've arched my eyebrows i don't arch my eyebrows anymore and there's nothing wrong in arching your eyebrows what i'm saying is i know people who cannot walk outside of the house without arching their eyebrows i know people who, who cannot walk out out of the house without getting their nails done or at least wearing just a pop of, of lipstick. Get to a stage in your life where you are comfortable in your skin, where you can look at your rolls on your tummy and you can just embrace it because it's not going to get flat today so even if you start running today it's not going to get flat today even if you you start seeing a dietitian even if you start seeing a trainer those changes are not going all of those changes are still dependent on something so why don't we work on ourselves to where we are now dependent on the self-esteem that is on the inside of us which is what i want to encourage you to do is to know that you are beautiful you are handsome you look good you look good the most important thing is that you are eating right you are drinking the right things whatever is going into your mouth is not toxic and you are also working on your emotions you are working on your emotions you are forgiving people yes there is a correlation to unforgiveness and depression there is a correlation to to your body weight your hormones change when you're angry everything changes when you are bitter your body size a whole bunch of things change in your body when you are not in control of your emotions so once again i am encouraging you to have healthy relationships with with people but most of all have a healthy relationship with yourself use words of affirmations wake up every morning it is a beautiful day be present about 
everything. Be happy to see your family members. When you look at yourself in the mirror, be happy to see yourself. Tell yourself that you have come so far. Tell yourself that you are so proud of yourself. What does this have to do with body image and self-esteem? Because when you believe in yourself, you wouldn't need all of the peripherals. You wouldn't need all of the bells and whistles. You wouldn't need anything else because you are already comfortable in your skin. Because you are already comfortable in your soul. So work on your soul. You can eat everything, do all the weight loss programs and everything, but if your soul is toxic, you would see that you may lose the weight only for a little while. And then something will happen and you will gain it big time. So please, I want to encourage you, work on your soul, work on your self-esteem. I have a wonderful guest here with me. I have a, a very, very beautiful, very, very beautiful woman who has been through the journey that I'm talking about. And in, um, and in a few minutes, you would have an opportunity to see her. Stay tuned. Thank you so much once again for tuning in to another episode of Emotions. And I am here with my guest, Grace. HMB, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very, very much. Um, so today our topic is on body image and what, what, like, why I said you have to come on this show is because of what I found out about you. Um, first of all, you had a broken engagement and then you also decided to adopt a child and all of this has to do with what you felt about your size exactly. so what's going on with you now thank you so much god bless you mm. um thank you for having me here actually years back i had an engagement that went bad because of my body size i got a call and he told me his mother cannot accept me because of my body size. I felt bad. And to be truthful, I attempted suicide. So I was thinking of who to call, who to contact, who to talk to, someone to talk to me. I just want to listen to someone talk to me. Something to give me hope to come back again. I just had to dial your number. And I asked to speak with you. So you gave me the audience. I feel bad about my body size and I told myself, is it that people on same category with me, we can't have a better life because of how we look or how God created us to be? I started thinking so many things that I decided to say, okay, no problem. You are doing well. Go and adhere to your mother's instructions. Don't worry, I'll be fine. So I said to, I told, I, I, told, I, told, I told a friend of mine, I said, why not? Okay, let me just get a child to be around me. I just want to have someone around me to be happy. Since I can't have a man around me, let me get a child that will be around me and I can be fending for that child to take care of the child as my own child. Since I can't have a man that will call me his wife, let me just accept my fate and go this way. So I called you that fateful day. You really spoke to me well. I slept like a baby that day. And you gave me confidence. I had to get up on my feet and embrace who I am. I had to do the things that I was not doing. I adhered to everything you told me. I took every step you asked me to take and I started loving myself. I started loving myself before when I'm about going to the office, I look at the mirror, I'll say, oh, this girl, you are pretty, you are hardworking, what is the problem? So I really, really want to thank you for saving me that day. Thank Honestly, you. Honestly, I didn't even put my parents into consideration. I just wanted to do something drastic to myself if I spoke and, to you. And you know what? It's okay to have felt the way that you felt. It really struck me when you said that you actually attempted suicide, which you, you wanted to kill yourself. And so exactly. I know that other people are going through this. I know that other people are going through this. Why don't you shed light on how being a plus size woman has probably affected your job or just affected like how people speak to you or their impression 
about you? Have you had any encounters at work or even getting a job or even snide comments? People making comments, you know, at you, unsolicited advice and things like that. Yes, I have so many times. Um, 2014, before I could get a job with the bank, when I went to see the manager, the former manager of Ford Branch, I'm, I'm a businesswoman and I'm, I'm a realtor, I'm into property. So he decided to say, okay, let me help you with a banking job so you can maybe further your education. I said, no problem. So he told me, I don't think you can do this job. Look at your size. I said, sir, I can do anything. I can do anything. Don't worry about my size. He said, can you, can you, be, a, can you be an RM? Can you go about, can you move on? I said, sir, just give me a try. What I'll is do an it. RM? Relationship manager. Okay. So I told him yes. So they called me the previous month. I went for interview training and I started the job. To his greatest surprise, I was even leading in my team. He said, oh, you surprised me. I thought you wouldn't do the job well. I said, I don't allow my body to weigh down the strength that I have. I can do what 10 people cannot do. Then he will call my branch. I do very well in all my KPIs. So he said, well, Grace, I'm, I'm impressed and I'm proud of you. So when I hear people say nasty comments about me, my body size, who I, I just look at them and smile because to me, I feel they have no knowledge of what they are making that individual going through. Go because there, yeah. somebody can... Somebody can decide to do something harmful to themselves without what you said to them. So when they say those things to me, I'll tell them, thank you. I am created in the image and likeness of God. Mm -hmm. And I am embracing my beauty. Mm -hmm. And I'm embracing my body and myself. Mm -hmm. Your compliment, the comment you throw to me, does not mean anything to me. As a matter of fact, the comments are compliments. Exactly. Because they actually reveal what you feel about yourself and then you could also work on your esteem based on whatever they are saying. Exactly. Really, I, I applaud you. I really applaud you for your courage um, in 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 um, talking about this and in actually saying that you wanted to kill yourself. Let's yes. just go back a bit though. Let us, uh, let me ask you. You said that your ex fiance he, his mother, had an issue with you being a plus size. What about him? What were the comments that he made? He, when he called me, he said that he can't continue. But unfortunately for him right now, he later gained a good job. Maybe the mother saw that maybe he will gain weight and I, maybe with the weight, we both cannot be together as husband and wife because right now he's even bigger than me and not yet married. Because the lady, the mother designed for him to marry, mm -hmm. marry someone else, mm -hmm. and now he's still single. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so basically you have gone through self esteem issues, you have attempted to kill yourself you have been ostracized and marginalized um trying to get a job people making snide comments about you what are the tips that you took to build your self-esteem how do you feel about your body now um have you seen a doctor are you working on this is this genetics or is this um, something that was gained upon him. So, so is this a genetic thing or is this an emotional thing? Is this why should this even be a thing? Or well, since it's a thing, let's talk about it. It's a genetic. It's genetic from my mother's side. Okay. But um, when I was growing up, I think I started gaining weight when I was 24. I started gaining weight, but when I checked through, uh, my I, ha I have six siblings. We are seven girls. I and my sis, um, little sister, were on the big side. So I checked very well, and I noticed it's from my mother's side. So I actually have a dietitian. She's not even in Abuja. She coached me online. So when I explained to her that, look at what I'm going through, I just want to lose some weight and on the health aspect of it right now i'm not even looking towards the marital aspect of it i want to be okay health wise so she now gave me some things to do so i am even working on those um things she asked me to do and um, i i registered with the gym at grandpa hotel i go there after work maybe twice maybe three times a week i go there to gym and i feel good about my body 
I decided to embrace my inner beauty, embrace myself, and I decided to let go of what people say about me or who I am. I look at the mirror every day and I said to myself that I'm a great personality. I will not allow what people say about my body to weigh me down. So it's a genetic, from, it's a genetic thing from my mother's side. So if it's genetic, the chances are this weight is not going to come off. Totally, it won't come off, totally. Even when I saw my doctor, he told me, I, I, he asked me all my desirable size, I said size 10, he said no, that cannot be possible. You cannot be a size 10, but I, I'll tell you tips to do to work on yourself because of the health to aspect your of body. it. Yes. Because you can tone, you can actually tone your body to where you, you, you know, have have um have this desired look of where you look put together right yes that is what i wanted to gain okay that was the reason why i had to see the dietitian and i went to see my doctor too i have i, I complained to my doctor that i have this challenge of okay when i'm going through the weight loss process that process of the cleansing process okay i'm doing my work effectively once i start i'll start getting weak I'll be tired, I don't need to do anything because I want to lose weight. So he now advised me on what to do and he spoke with my dietitian and we're working towards it and I'm happy that it's a gradual thing and I'm going down right. gradually. I don't want it to be a drastic thing so it won't harm me. You want to, you know, it's like, it's funny that you are my guest because you are just a gorgeous woman. Thank you. I mean, I'm just looking at you and you are gorgeous from head to toe. Thank you. Now, there was a statement that you made that I kind of wanted to tweak a little bit. You know, you are um, saying that you are working on the health aspect and not even the marriage aspect. Yes. And it made me wonder how, how your body size is now synonymous to marriage and uh, our body size is cannot and should not be synonymous to marriage at all the way that we look like we just said is from genetics or maybe from what we are eating from our diet or from where we are emotionally in our lives and so that shouldn't have anything to do with marriage because marriage is 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 about love is about a commitment is about planning towards the future and expanding and having children all of that should have nothing to do with your body size now let's quickly talk about how this has affected your energy does it affect your energy then it affected my energy um, yes yes uh, um, when you say productivity in what aspect yeah yeah is your energy same thing before yes but now nah, i've worked on it good so I've worked so on have it. you noticed that that your energy level and your productivity is from your perspective so it's, about it's from your head yes. and not necessarily from your body, body size. size yes from your body size right? Yeah, right and that's because you have been working on those tips yes i have been working on them and it's helpful it's really really helping me right now i have a peaceful life I have a peaceful life and I'm, I, I always pray that God will make his plans to work in my life according to how he designed it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank once you so again, much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much once again for watching Emotions with Omenasa. Until next time, bye.